Hey everyone, we are back with another What's Sold on eBay. Linda's having a sip of water. My cup that matches my hair. She had to get an orange Yeti cup to match her hair, so that's definitely... Uh... I'm just, I'm in an orange mode right yeah, now. Yeah, she's in, she wants all orange hair. She's a big Halloween fan. Anywho, we sold a lot of stuff today. Today's actually Memorial Day for us, um, so probably not for you guys. It's probably a week off when you're seeing it, but we had quite a bit of sales for a holiday. I was definitely pleased with that. And obviously a big shout out to all the... Uh, people who have lost their life serving, um, and the families, and then of course everyone who has been serving and has served and will continue to serve. We uh, we appreciate you guys and thanks for all you do for us. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into what's sold here. Linda will start us off though. We'll start us off with this rare die cast. It is a Plymouth Cuda. Is it Plymouth, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's it. So. Yep. It's complete. There's no it's pretty cool. It it's got a good like paint there. I paid five or six bucks for it. I remember at a garage sale. And it sold for 50 And it's one of those muscle machines is what they're called. They also have little tiny ones, which I've sold before as well. This is one of the bigger size ones. So that was a really good deal. That one came late last night before bed. So we were happy about that. <clears throat> and then the twin. We sold one. I, well, in our last video, you probably saw on what day it was. That was for the weekend. So we sold the white yeah. version of this hat. Black one. Same exact hat. I'm pretty sure just in black color and this one's over 50 ship and that was also a dollar buy so that was really good as well what do we got next um, these are a buy i got these for i actually paid 14 bucks for these i had them at 15 i got two items they were 15 each we ended, i ended up getting them for 28 she gave me a dollar each off so she was super generous um she said her husband would let her sell them for cheap he would just keep them so i got these for 14 and the other one for 14 this sold for 35 shipped i thought it was going to go for about 40 but i was a little off on the pricing um so we'll make a little bit of money on this one but the other one should go for about 50 55 shipped so in the end it was a pretty good deal brand new item and it sold within a couple of days so that was pretty cool and then we have this coca-cola semi truck this is the santa one it lights up too like the wheels oh, and does? stuff or something like oh, right here alongside He's oh, there's, the, yeah, all the little lights, they light up. I'm not sure how. There's a battery in the bottom. Oh, but it's not in, huh? You didn't store with the battery? Well, I wouldn't store with the battery because that would lead to corrosion. Yes, don't do that, guys. That's a pretty easy tip there. You guys should know that. <laughs> and this one sold for 35 ship. Yeah, 35 ship. That was from a $10 Coca-Cola, just a little box. And I pulled out this and some other stuff. I'm happy this one's gone, though, because I thought my son was going to take it and play with it. Same with that other little green one. He was, he's been wanting to play with those. <laughs> And the gifted got, yeah, the first gifted. season is that one sealed no it's no. not i don't even remember what i paid or where i got this from but uh this sold for 15 bucks 16, 16 bucks good deal for a used dvd set there here's a scentsy buddy little kitty this one sold for 13 and a half shipped it doesn't have the packs in it so it's just yeah the little scentsy we got a bunch of scentsy buddies guys i got a bunch of them at a garage or at storage unit guys sale some of them go crazy mm. this one's a little bit rough a little dirty so he didn't do that well an HP ink here. This is 564, the photo ink, an old one we've had for a while. It finally sold for nine dollars shipped. When you got, we haven't had it for too long, I guess, but I had to relist it. It got taken down once by um, a Vero violation for selling internet or something. If you sell HP ink internationally, eBay can pull your listing. So make sure if you're selling HP ink, you don't put it on an international sale. You put it on just domestic. That'll avoid that issue. We got this cute backpack. It's with the lazy egg. Um, Gudetama. Yeah, I didn't want to say it wrong, so, but it's I don't just even a know if I backpack. said it right. Um, we did find some more problems with it on the strap, so hope for you. It's not the really buyer. that bad, it's just... It's coming apart, so I messaged the buyer pictures to see if she wants to still buy it. I guess it, I missed so. it. I, there's a, some other damage I got on the trim that was a little bit falling apart, and I noticed that, and I guess I missed the strap up here, so... Um, they It went for 50 bucks. I only paid 2 bucks for it at a garage sale, so... If she, we obviously message her. If we run into an issue like that, guys, where I miss something on the listing, I always try to message them up front and say, hey, I noticed this. I don't just ship it out. Some people just ship it out and pray it's not an issue, which you could do. I always like to send a message, and if you know they don't, they want to cancel it, I'll just cancel it at buyer's request because they'll say they want to cancel it. It doesn't affect me negatively, and I'll relist it with the updated pictures and everything. So if you're ever going to cancel an order and you cancel it per buyer's request or an issue with an address, you don't get penalized. So I try to get them to know that they're going to be canceling and that's what they want to do here's one of my probably my favorite sale of the weekend definitely <laughs> these are like little wiffle ball little uh you know little kids bats they're not brand new they still have the plastic on them maybe they weren't played with but it's kind of falling apart and it's got some scuffs there's two of them here same brand jaru j-a-r-u uh, these are from 2003 i think both of them are uh, but yeah i got these for i think two or three bucks um each maybe it was four bucks for both i don't remember at an estate sale, it 
was so happy to find them. I'm like, these are definitely going to sell. Took a best offer today of 55, 55 bucks. They weigh pretty, practically nothing. We'll just um, probably invert them so there's like one going each way. Wrap them with some bubble wrap. Put them in one of the priority mail tubes and send them out. Really happy about this one. It's just a fun sale. And then next we got a Philips portable DVD player. Um, I don't know if it works or not. But well, I wouldn't sell. I would say as is. I don't. I don't think it'd be yeah, worth any. Yeah, but it'll say as is if it's not. It does work. I got it from a big buy I had from this guy. He saves video game stuff and VCRs for me. And he saved this. It was super dirty. No power cord. I happen to have a power cord that works. I have a whole bunch of them over here, so I just save them. Just in case, found one that fits, was the correct voltage, powered right on, watched the DVD for a little while, I cleaned it up. And, and sold for 39 ships. So that's a great deal. This one might go pad a flat rate even, I'm not sure. If not, it'll cost around 9 bucks. Here's an Adams Golf Driver. This is from my probably one of my best golf buys ever I just had recently. Spent 100 bucks on golf stuff and some clothing. And this is the first one to sell. I just listed it, but this one sold for 40 bucks shipped. It's an Adams 363 Tight Lies Driver, 9 degrees, so... Golf clubs are awesome, guys. Uh, definitely keep an eye out for them. A lot of them aren't worth money, but if you start to remember the good, start to remember the good brands and stuff, you can make some money on them. So that's pretty good. Uh, Rob Zombie. This is out of Linda's personal collection here. You wouldn't think she would, but she just loves her some rods. Rob Zombie. So two little ones. Regeneration Vendor, and, or Venomous Rat. Regeneration Vendor and the Sinister Urge. So just pretty much classics here. These sold for thirty bucks shipped. Uh, I, have, I listen to a couple Rob Zombie songs. They're all right, but um, yeah, 30 shipped on those, which is pretty good for two, only two used CDs. And those were also from the $350 buy, which keeps making us money. This one was kind of uh, interesting. This is a slightly stupid shirt. Um, but you can't really just see on the screen. It's a t-shirt, a size medium, large. Large. Uh, I had listed it for 30 bucks or best offer. One had sold for 25 all recently. The guy, a guy messaged me at 15 bucks. He went all the way up to like 1950. I said 25 is my lowest. I just listed it. I think he went on another account because it was from the same state. I couldn't remember the uh, city, but it was from Florida. And I'm like, he he messaged me like right around the same price and went up a couple 50 more cents each time. I told him again, 25 is my final offer. He offered 24, and I just accepted. I hope he doesn't come back and become a problem because I was getting a little frustrated with all the, you know, 50 cent jump offers, but we ended up selling it for 24 bucks in a couple of hours and I think I paid a buck at a garage sale. I can't complain too much. I got to be thankful at least people are interested in the items. Star Fox Adventures, disc or no disc, this is manual case only, not in perfect shape either, but if you're going to find the, if you're going to sell these empty cases, this one sold for 30, 30 bucks, which is great, but if you're going to sell these, in my title, the first word I put is no disc. And then at the end, I put words, no disc. Then at the end, I put no disc. And the condition, no disc. And the description, no disc. So I always make sure I really clearly emphasize it doesn't have a disc. And I also sent the buyer a message when he bought it and said, hey, I know I appreciate your purchase. Hope you're aware this is, does not include the disc. This is just a manual in case only. And he replied, yes, I'm trying to complete a game. I understand no issues. So I try to do that just to avoid any issues because sometimes people think they got the deal of the century and um, go ahead and buy something not realizing it's not, not, realizing it's not complete. Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2. A uh, little Walt Disney DVD uh, Winnie the Pooh one. This is brand new sealed. Paid two bucks at a thrift store plus tax. Bought a bunch of these ones, which is a lot to pay for VHS, but I knew these sealed Disney ones sell. And this one sold for 18 shipped, 18 shipped on a best offer to, or offer to watchers. The clamshell DVD Disney ones that are sealed don't sell for as much always, but these little ones, the sing-along ones, and these ones do better. And then we got the... Fuller window glass cleaner. This is just a refill pack. I got it for five bucks along with a bunch of other stuff at a little sale. Probably got about two bucks in this. It sold for 20 bucks. It'll either go first class on a padded flat or a padded mailer or priority mail depending on the weight. Funny thing about that was I got a message from a, a random eBay account saying that they're the owner of the business. They have a law firm that's going to reach out to me if I don't drop the listing because I don't, I'm using their photos and all kinds of stuff like that, which is a lie. I took my own photos. Yes, this is maybe their product. If that even is the right person, it might be their product, but I now own it. So technically I could list, I could sell it anywhere I want. Uh, I'm not, it's not a fake product. I believe it is a real legit thing, but they were kind of threatening Vero, but didn't actually Vero me. So I just left it up and didn't even respond to them. Um, I was like, well, we'll see if they message me again or what happens if I get a Vero violation, but it happened to sell in the meantime. 
you got to be careful with the Vero people. They will come after you. Though some people will do it, um, and it's not legit, and it happens. So you know, be careful. But this one, I wasn't really sure if it was even the right person. I, it could have been a com competitor out there trying to get me not to sell it, because there was one guy who had like a quantity of five listed. So maybe he was trying to get me off of eBay. But mm -hmm. either way, mine sold for twenty, and I probably never find this again. But if I do, I'll still pick it up because I'll take my chances at this point. Then we got um, the Sims 2 free time expansion pack for PC. Uh, this one's sold for 19 shipped. Uh, Just got it this weekend, yeah, Friday. Was so had the day off. Got it for 250 at a discount store, and it sold for 18 19 or 19 shipped. So it'll go out first class. Pretty good deal there. Um, the Sims 2 stuff, some of them do, some of them are just $10 expansions, but some of them go higher depending on which one it is. And usually the CD key is on the back of the manual on those, so keep an eye out. And I think our last sale. Ace Combat 6 for 360. This one always sells pretty well. It's sold. It's only been up about two weeks and it sold for 18. 18 ship, which is pretty good for a used 360 game. So that's it, guys. Pretty good day on a Memorial Day weekend or a Memorial Day on a Monday, a holiday, getting this many sales. Hopefully this, this one will still go through. That's the little concern. But if not, um, you know, we sold some pretty good stuff. I did sell my little wiffle bat, so that's kind of sad and exciting at the same time. They were cool. <laughs> But uh, we appreciate you guys watching. Linda will be back if anything else sells later tonight, and she'll show you in the next clip. And then if not, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Hey, everyone. We're back with another What Sold. This is part two of the sales for Tuesday, the day after Memorial Day, the first day of June. Uh, pretty good day. A lot of electronics going out and some video game stuff and then a good mix of other stuff. Um, Linda is excited and happy to be here. She's not feeling it today, not feeling too well, so we're going to go pretty quick. She's tired. Uh, she so I have my glasses on. She's got her glasses on. She's going for the librarian look, which it works, you know, no. whatever you're into. Anywho, let's go ahead and go over what sold on eBay. So what do we have first? Uh, we got this Star Wars character. This one's actually been sold for a while. It took forever to pay. Yeah, so I don't know. Uh, Kit Fisto? Yep, got that in the 25 cent Star Wars buy, yeah. um, which was pretty good. Uh, got, we sold a figure the other day for 16 the, Rex or whatever. Rex, yeah, this one actually sold for 20. That was an offer to watchers for 20. Someone jumped on it, so I think we spent like four bucks in figures and we've already sold 36 bucks for two of them. Here's a Hello Kitty, it's like a Halloween plush and it's got the little shirt on. I've had this one for a while, you'll see the listing. It's old. This one, uh, I think, was a dollar or two at a garage sale, and it sold for 25, shipped. 25 bucks. I don't know. That one might go over a pound, probably. Yeah. And then we've got um, Phoenix, Jean Grey from um She, like, lights up, I think, too. Well, this, yeah. Well, you probably can't tell, but her hair does light up. You can see at the top. See? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, it kind of Trust does. me. It's there. And her eyes too, because her eyes are the same amazing yeah. same material. So she sold for ten shipped. Ten bucks on her. Uh, that was another that was one from our death pile, so Linda's always happy to see that junk go. We've got the Prepper's Water Survival Guide. We this sold one, a couple of prepper books the past yeah, month or so. People are getting ready. So that one sold for fifteen shipped. That's in the three hundred and fifty dollar buy. And we sold some rich. We sold some more rich. Shout out to Joe. <laughs> Another set of five going out for, for 25, 25 ships. ships. And we still got more to go. So you'll be seeing more of that in the future, guys. One of my best buys. Here is a Vitamix um, little lid here. And it's got the little piece, the kind of measuring piece in there. It needs to be wiped down a little bit further before we send it up. This is from a Vitamix I got for 10 bucks. The guy said he wasn't sure if it worked, but it worked beautifully. And I parted it out. And this sold for 20, 30. 30 ships. 30 bucks in this little kitchen part. So again, we're always parting stuff out. A PS3, this is a sad one because it came back. Uh, this one sold again for the same price, I believe $135 shipped. But the first time we sold it for $135, I shipped it out early for the guy because he really wanted it. He lived only a couple, of, like a county or two over. Guy got it, immediately opened a return request that it doesn't read games and it won't connect to Wi-Fi, which I knew was a lie because I tested it. It read multiple discs and it did connect to Wi-Fi. That's how I test it. Uh, the guy kept messaging me, no, your system's broken, I want a full refund, I'm sending it back, and then he sent it back, and I finally got it, tested it out, I'm like, dude, it still works, you know, yeah, we have free returns, he goes, yeah, I ended up getting a PS5, so just refund me. So I think what happened was he decided to get a PlayStation 5, didn't want to spend the 135 on this, and then had to return it because it was broken. Um, he could have just been honest and just said it, you know, he returned it, but either way, it came back, tested it out again, it still works, and it sold for 135 and it went global shipping program, oddly enough. Uh, what do we got next? Next we have a 99 Mazda workshop manual. This sold for almost 12 bucks. 
So Another, we saw a few Mazda one lately, actually. Yeah. They've been going out, which has been nice. Eagles, farewell. Um, Tour, this is a DVD set, not a CD here. It's got, I think, two discs. This one sold for $17 shipped. Yeah. So another one, I think that's from the $330 buy, and then I think this is the one you counted the other day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this shout out to Linda. Oh. She's the board game piece counter. That's one of her many hats that she wears. It's not fun. Uh, Especially on older games where you, they don't have, like, it doesn't tell you what's the contents. in the box. This one had it on the back, apparently. So. Yeah, some of them are good. This one was missing, so I think, one piece. One yeah. tiny little piece. So this normally sells for like 35 or 40. Ours sold for 30 shipped. 30 shipped, just missing one piece. I put it in there, so we'll take it. Um, board games are kind of hard, guys, because of the weight. Shipping can be a little bit pricey on them unless it's something super rare. Um, so, you know, if you can find them for the right price, it might be worth picking up, but then you gotta make sure the pieces are there. So, uh, luckily, I have Linda and she does the piece counting, so it saves me any time. This is a Magnavox DVD recorder here. It's, I forgot the model number. It's ZV450MW8. This one is <laughs> one that did not work. Um, the disc tray would not come out sometimes. I opened it up and figured out what was wrong, so I got it working. In the process, I damaged the front here, and it won't stay closed all the time. So I accidentally uh, got a little too clumsy there. It still works, though. Just the tray will fall down. So it was better that it actually works. This sold for 171 Yeah. 171 shipped. Um, this is a very nice unit. It's about a $200 unit without the tray like that. I spent 20 bucks on it. The guy said it worked. It was in pretty good shape, but obviously he hadn't tested it because it had that issue. But we got it working. And then we have a Cool Blast by Misty Mate thing. This is one of those ones you fill it with water, you pump it, and it sprays out. It's like brand lister. new. We actually had one of these when I was little when we go to Disneyland all the time. Oh, it must be nice to go to Disneyland. Yeah, we were spoiled. <laughs> so, and... We would take it with us and we would sit, like, watch, sitting to watch the first parade or something. We'd spray each other down and everything. It was great. And if you, you can see how old water, she is, too, because they know, use right? one of these. Man, she's up there. Yeah, it was cool, though. This one we got we for like two bucks it. at a garage sale. Um, and it sold for 40 I've sold a couple of these, so look out for them. Even used, the Misty Mates will sell if they work. We got Elton John Anthology Songbook. What a great picture of him, man. That's yeah, awesome. That's a great picture. And this one sold for almost 15 shipped. I don't know what buyer that one's from, but we sold so many songbooks. They've done really well. I used to not pick them up, but now I pick them up all the time because people are always looking for them. And then we got an Xbox. Um, I won't pick it up because it's over here in the bags falling apart that it's Xbox in. Xbox Slim. Xbox 360 4 gig Slim comes with a white controller. This is the black model unit, but it comes with a white uh, wireless controller, HDMI, and all the cables. Test it out and it works well. Just a 4 gig console and it sold for 100 bucks shipped. I usually get 100 bucks every time I sell one of those with a controller. I have two more to test and list. Hopefully we'll get 100 for those. I went a little crazy and I bought 16 pairs of vintage, weatherproof vintage expedition pants. They're multiple sizes and two, only one in the other color. All the rest are this charcoal color. Five bucks a piece at a garage sale. I'm guessing she got them on a pallet or something. So I spent 80 bucks, I think it was. We sold our first one today. I've only had them listed for a couple days, but this one sold for an offer to watchers at 23 something. 23.74. 23.74. We spent five. It's going to cost around five to six bucks to ship them. Probably they're about 13 ounces, I think. And then um, it'll probably cost three and some fees. So we'll make around 10 bucks each one. I'm okay with that. And we got this cool Microsoft Windows hat. It's it I've had this one like, for so long. I thought this yeah. would be the coolest thing. I'm like, someone has to it's want like this. It's like it's missing the bill for a regular hat. It's really cool, it's though. It's like, like a little kid would wear this in the 90s. Like a little kid would be walking around <laughs> with this. Um, this one I got for a dollar at a garage, so I know that. I've had it for a long time. And it finally sold today. 35 ships. 35 ships. So we will take it. I, uh, my patience um, paid off, so I'm very proud. <laughs> But I waited and didn't toss it. This is why I don't throw stuff away, guys. He doesn't throw anything away, I'll just away, leave guys. it listed until it finally sells. Literally Hold everything. on, Tori's getting a little crazy. Yeah, he keeps everything, guys. There's, like, there's stuff that... I bet you there's something he still has that, like, he had when we got... Like, when we met. When we got together. Yeah, there's a couple. So, and that's just, like... And we can usually tell because, like, on eBay, his listings, Oops. based on the background, it's, like, there's ones that I can tell from the place he was saying that before when we met where he used like a side table dresser for like a bedside table as his background yeah so it was like oh. you can always tell how old the item is for the most part by some of the picture type of pictures because yeah. some of them like the hat you can tell that was an older one and same with the hello kitty yeah. all the rest of the stuff was relatively new but okay guys that's everything we have for you thanks so much for watching um linda will be back with another clip if anything else sells tonight which we are always hoping there are more clips 
Plus, then she gets to run solo and kind of do her own thing. If not, though, we will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.